and we are white hot. Meaning like, we don't even really have to do anything and the people are, are screaming their ass off. And, and we were getting ready. We were building towards the pay-per-view, which means we're going to be, you know, we got 26 out of 30 days. We're wrestling every night in a different arena, you know, with no cameras on. And Randy was, got to remember, was such the consummate professional. And, you know, Randy didn't make decisions right away. He thought about it. Like thinking, 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 thinking. You know, like, <laughs> and uh, every single night, you know, we, you know, I'd be in the locker room and he'd be in there, and and Arn Anderson would come in, and so what are we gonna do tonight, Randy? And you know, every night I got my ass whooped by many NWO guys at the end, or I, I hit a couple of diamond cutters, and then somebody stuffed me, and maybe I escaped that night. Randy would come up with all these different scenarios. Most times I got my ass just whooped, and they're throwing shit, you know, at the whole NWO as I'm laying there, you know. And, yeah. And uh, this one night, right before the pay per view, it's on my 40th birthday. And Arn comes in, he goes, so Randy, what do you want to do tonight? And he was tying up his boots at the time. And he looked up and he went, I mm, think I want to take the diamond cutter. And he went back to tie his boots up. And Arn, who I love, but back in the day, me and him had some tension when he was on the booking committee and basically told me I was never going to be a top guy because I wasn't seen as a top guy. It was just, it was a lot of frustration between yeah. the two of us. I mean, I love him today. But back then, I, I, you know, there was a lot of tension between 